Jazzy Jeff, DJ why, Scratch. Why, why, why Jazzy Jeff? Because Jazzy Jeff was doing things when I was real young, watching this dude doing things that was unheard of for that time. For the time, I mean, looking at him transforming, scratching in Union Square, that was like ahead of, ahead of the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody was doing that. You know, and it resonates to this, to this day. And then if you was to go see Jazzy Jeff, the way he put, you know, he's not a mic dude. He doesn't get on the mic or nothing like that. He usually have mad skills or somebody else get on the mic and do his thing. But he's so technical. And I remember one time somebody said to me, kid, I go to all your shows and I never dance and I never do nothing. I just watch it. He said, when, when you DJing, it's like you're telling a story. It's like you're, telling, you're giving us a point A, a point B, and a point C. And that's the truth. And that's the same thing I get when I see Jeff. When I look at Jeff, it's like he's trying to, he, he, it's such of a buildup. It's so much of a beginning, a, a middle, and an end that you wait, you, you, if you came to stay there for an hour, you're going to end up being there until the lights come on. That's the type of DJ he is. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that, those are the type of DJs that's really winning. Not the dude that's just grabbing the computer because he's able to be a DJ and grab a bunch of MP3s and, you know, be out there. You know, it, you, you could really see. It, it's a difference when somebody hear you opposed to when somebody feel you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so Jazzy Jeff is one. Who are the other four? Scratch. DJ Scratch, why him? Because Scratch, um, there's... He's one. He's one of the few, out of like Qbert or like a lot of DMC DJs, that could be a DMC DJ and bust your ass with that. He is a DMC champion. Probably. He's a DMC champion. Yeah, five, and but he would, but he could do that and then still know how to rock a party. You know what I'm saying? Still know how to turn it off to where there's a lot of DJs that. That's just what they know, and when they get to the party part, it's not good. And, and, and the DMC thing, when if you could incorporate that into a regular party where you have a bunch of chicks and a bunch of people that's, that want to party and have fun, if you could incorporate that, get in and get out, and it's a beautiful thing. But if you're doing that the whole party, yeah. they, <laughs> chances are, you know, you're not going to be hired back. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's a matter of of, of, no, of appreciating the fans and knowing what the fans want. Okay. Uh, that's two. Three more. Um, and be careful about who I say here. <laughs> uh, Brucey B. Why him? Because Brucey look like he's having a good time when he's DJing. You know what I'm saying? Brucey look like he could be in a room and it could be two people partying and he's still gonna have a good time. You know what I'm saying? He dances around, he's slapping five, he salutes, he do all kinds of different things. He he drinking, he doing whatever, but he look like he having so much fun, it makes you want to DJ. So and, and and that's what I like. That's what I like that. You know what I'm saying? I like to see that. Um another DJ, uh there's there's, there's a lot. I'm trying to think of People's feelings are going to be heard after this comes out. Technician the DJ. Technician's the DJ is a DJ that opens him up before me. He's, he goes on the road with me. Okay. And he been with me so many years. He's seen how I do things. And he see that, you know, this is the way This is the way you appreciate your crowd. This is, the, this is what you got to do to be great. This is what you have to do to go star status. And he learned so much. So when I see him DJ and do, do a back up the lock, so he backs up, you know, whoever he backs up, you know, it just I, I'll be proud to see that because I know how dope he is and, and it, you know, it's incredible. So he's definitely one. He's not known to the masses, but you ask me my opinion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so he's definitely one of the dudes that, that, that's incredible. One um, more. One more. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Choose wisely on this one. I'm gonna say Grandmaster Flash. And the reason why I'm gonna say Grandmaster Flash, because without Grandmaster Flash or Cool Hurt, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing right now. You see what I'm saying? Like, he revolutionized the DJ. He made you wanna be him. You know what I'm saying? And he may not be as aggressive as a DJ as a lot of dudes are. You know what I'm saying? 
but he is definitely the trendsetter of what we're doing. You know, without James Brown, there wouldn't be hip hop. Without Flash, there wouldn't be us hip hop DJs. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you have to respect that man. You have to respect what he's done. It's it, the you know five DJs is not is is too short of a list. It's too many great yeah, ones. Because I mean, on top of my head, you left off uh, Bambada. Of course. And let me tell you, <laughs> let me matter of fact, let it be six because Bambada <laughs> need to be in there. Listen, I went to Toronto, Canada. I got stuck out there. I had a show in Vancouver. I got stuck in Toronto. And one of my promoters, I called him and said, yo, I'm going to go hang out with him. He came to the hotel. He took me out. And I heard he say, yo, Bam Bada's in, in town today. And we wasn't even going. We were going somewhere else. He said, Bam Bada's in town today. I said, yeah, let me go pay my respects. Say what's up to Bam. Be there five minutes to roll out. Yo, I got there, man. I, I, first of all, let me say this. In all the years I've been in hip-hop, know about Zulu, been around Bronx River and everything, I've never seen Bam DJ. I always seen Jazzy J and Red Alert. Mm -hmm. I, I knew Bam supplied the records, so Bam he was the master of records. I never seen him play. I seen this dude play in Toronto. Like I said, I came to stay there for five minutes, say what's up to him, roll out. I stayed till the lights came on. He shut the club down and he played so many things that I never heard before. Like it was just, it was me and my man Jim was looking at each other like. We just couldn't believe it. We talked about this to a lot of different people. We told them, like, it was just an immaculate set that this dude did. And, and, and I was standing there looking at him, and I just, I just couldn't believe what he was doing. And, and that just goes to show, like, you don't have to be in the forefront to be the hottest. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be in everybody's face all the time to be that dude. You don't have to be the dude with the now hit record to be the banging dude that when they come to pay that ticket, you satisfied for paying that money to see him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that's like that. And he's definitely one of them. And I would definitely go. Next time I hear, Bam is somewhere, Bam, I'm coming to see you, sir. And that's that. He's an incredible DJ. So you, you left Flex off the list. I left Flex off the list because Flex got so much more to do. He got so much more to do. Like he, you know what I'm saying? He he's in his he's in his zone right now. Like, you know, he's doing he's doing great. Like with different things. And you know, like I said, the list is too long to make because there's so many DJs. And I like DJs for different reasons. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like I like DJs. I don't like DJs because you have the big name. I like DJs because of everything that you do. You know what I'm saying? So Flex is in his zone right now. It, it, it's never a thing where Flex is high on the radio and that's the reason why I like him. No, I like the, what he's doing, what he what he stands for, like, you know, he, and he's doing his thing. Last time I checked, Cat Williams is either going to end up dead or living forever. And <laughs> those two choices are fine. The real question is, if he were to die, would anyone care? And it makes him seem like one of the greatest philosophers of the world because his pen told you this years ago. He wrote what's happening nowadays. He's seen it. So it puts him on the level of a spirit or a god. <laughs>